Hi, my name is Shashi and I'm based in Mumbai, India. This video is part of Introduction to Music Production with Coursera.org. Today, I'm going to demo how to configure an EQ plugin in your DAW. I will be using Novendo 4 as my DAW. EQ plugins are very useful in post-production to tailor the kind of experience we want the listener to have by cutting or boosting the lows or highs, giving a good blend of all the music pieces we have. For my demo, I have these three tracks which were recorded by me. Uh, first is the melody of a flute. Second is the bass note played on flute. Thirdly, there's a tanpura, which is an instrument mostly played behind uh, the classical Indian music. So let's listen to the sound. To open the EQ plugin, all I have to do is select the track, click on this E icon, which opens the window for plugins. For my demo, I'm not selecting a preset, uh, which is already there. I'm going to create one of my own preset and also show you how I can save that preset. Let's listen, Let's to, listen the to the melody, melody track, track without, without any, any EQ effect. effect. On this track, On this there are track, quite there a high are frequencies, frequencies and it would be better, better if we if do a low cut, a low cut in this or a high pass in this. This particular area is my reduce or increase of the gain. This is the part of frequency and this is the EQ or the Q of frequency. Similarly, Similarly, for my for second, my second track, track, I would select, select the, track the track and, and click, click on the E icon, icon which will open the plugin window. Plug window. Here I want, to, I want reduce to reduce the low the noise, noise, but as well as, as, well get, as the get the bass sound. sound. Yeah, you yeah, observe so there, there was a, a, hissing, a hissing sound, sound on, this on this note at the, at the low, low frequencies, frequencies. And, and here I have reduced I have that, that and also, also made, made the bass, bass prominent. prominent. Similarly, Similarly, for my third track, track, I would do I would the same, but here, here I would just I would like just to show like one more option, option which is there in Nuendo 4. Nothing different, it's just a different view for the same thing. I select the right hand side, go to EQ. Studio, Studio EQ. EQ. Here, I, Here would I would want to, want to boost, boost the low frequencies, low frequencies and, and cut down cut on down the highs. The highs. This, this, this increases, increases my pace, but I would also, I would like, also like to, to decrease, decrease the high the frequencies, high frequencies on it. To save this save preset, this I have to just, have to click, just click and click and on the click save, on the preset, save preset, preset, which I just I name as Tanpura Base. Click, click OK, okay. And, your and your preset is saved. Is saved. Let's listen to the music of all the three tracks together after applying all the EQ filters. <laughs> Let's listen to the sound before putting the EQ plugins. Now this is the sound after putting the EQ plugins. This is how we can improve the quality of our recording and give a nice soothing output and a better experience to the listener. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found this useful. 
please feel free to comment and provide your views on it. Thank you.